Writing Equilibrium Expressions by Mr. B. In chemistry, a dynamic equilibrium exists once a reversible reaction occurs. Substances transition between the reactants and the products at equal rates. Reactants and products are formed at such a rate that the concentrations are constant. In order to write the equilibrium expression for a system in a state of equilibrium, you will need to know the following. The balanced chemical equation for the reaction, and the phases, solid, liquid, gas, or dissolved, of each species involved in the reaction. Writing equilibrium expression for KEQ or KC. The general equilibrium expression for the reaction where AA plus BB is in equilibrium with CC plus DD is written as KC or KEQ is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentrations of the reactants. For the general equation, we write the following. KC is equal to C raised to the C, concentration of C raised to the C power times concentration of D raised to the D power divided by the concentration of A raised to the A power times the concentration of B raised to the B power. The brackets represent the concentration of the species in moles per liter or molarity. Lowercase a, b, c, and d represents the coefficients used in the balanced equation. There are two cases when a species is not shown in an equilibrium expression. When it is a solid such as PBCL2 solid or lead 2 chloride solid, or when it's a pure liquid or a solvent, such as H2O liquid. Examples of equilibrium expressions, KEQ or KC, for a variety of equilibrium systems follow. For example, the production of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gases where one mole of nitrogen gas N2 reacts with three moles of hydrogen gas H2 is in equilibrium with two moles of ammonia NH3 gas. So the equilibrium expression for this reaction is written as follows. Kc is equal to the concentration of ammonia NH3 squared divided by the concentration of nitrogen gas times the concentration of hydrogen gas cubed. When one or more gaseous substances are involved, a key KP expression is written in terms of the partial pressure of each gas. So, for the equation where nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas forms ammonia, we write the following. The Kp is equal to the partial pressure of ammonia squared divided by the partial pressure of, of the nitrogen gas times the partial pressure of the hydrogen gas cubed. For the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate solid, CaCO3 solid, is in equilibrium with calcium oxide solid 
plus carbon dioxide gas. Now, notice that solids are not written into equilibrium expressions, so we write the following, where Kc is equal to the concentration of carbon dioxide gas, or Kp is equal to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide gas. For the replacement of silver ions by copper, we write the following, where a solid copper metal reacts with two moles of silver ions in aqueous solution. It's in equilibrium with copper two plus ion in aqueous solution and solid silver metal. So the KC expression for this will exclude the solid copper and the solid silver. So you write concentration of copper two plus ion divided by the concentration of the silver ion squared. This concludes my short lesson on writing equilibrium expressions.